all will suffer. So let, let's move on to the next video. This uh, this was a video someone sent to me from a popular YouTuber, Adosa Buckley. Yeah. Have you heard of him? No. Mm. He's pretty popular. He's uh, it, uh, apparently... Is it uh, the same dude that used to do What the Buck? I'm not sure. Okay, let's take a look. I'll just know in a minute. Yeah, so. April 20th. No. A.K.A. Totally different 420. Guy. So he's going to talk. It, this was a while back, but I just found the video and I thought we could comment on it here. Okay. An unofficial holiday for marijuana aficionados. The origin Ooh. has something to do with a code made up sometime in the 70s, which some clever stoner then realized, hey, April is the fourth month of the year and April has a 20th day. It's also so April's birthday. Yeah. And the anniversary of the Columbine massacre. Yeah. So. 20th became 420. On Saturday, it was trending on Twitter. By the way, that whole thing in Boston, completely forgotten. 420, Coachella, and Waffle House are now more important. Three people okay. died and 183 people were injured, some of them to a point where they've lost limbs. Stop. Less than. Hey, hold on. So, because people tweeted about going to Waffle House, and they fucking tweeted about it being 420, and they fucking tweeted about being at Coachella or watching Coachella online... Obviously, they're just stupid pieces of shit with their priorities all out of whack because there was just six days after the Boston Massacre. Why aren't you still tweeting about the Boston Massacre? Boston can pray Don't for itself. Don't you fucking care? Why, well, why would, why would we care if Boston is praying or not? That's well, not, they can't even see that part of the screen. Okay, well, it says Boston can pray for its no itself now, huh, America? It's like, well, prayer is pointless and worthless to begin with, so maybe actually... Dealing with the, the actual fallout, you know, and the psychological well, no. impact. No, the important thing is not even that yeah. they pray. The important thing is they tweet. Let's not actually deal with the situation at hand. Let's just pray. Yeah. That's oh my God! Something bad happened in Boston. Quick, Please, everyone, Jesus. tweet about it. Jesus. Tweet save and pray us. and pray and tweet until the problem is solved. Is is Come tweeting on, the God. equivalent to prayer? No. What's that? Tweeting I, is like internet. I guess prayer. so. As, as long as you're tweeting prayer, please pray. I'm tweeting and praying. Pray for Boston. Pray a week for ago, fucking but Boston. bro, weed and waffles. And a Facebook friend of mine mentioned... He's using, like, the Fox News cop-out, like, Whoa, man, you're, like, so high, and you're, like, waffles. Something wrong with you. 420 you're a bad status person. that I couldn't resist trolling. Not sure why we're all celebrating Hitler's birthday and the anniversary of Columbine, but hey, to each their own, I guess. Says playful ah. old Buckley, intentionally ignoring the obvious weed reference to remind everyone that one of history's worst human beings was born on this day in 1889, and 110 years later, two fuckheads shot up a school. And it took literally minutes. Both Marilyn Manson's fault, by the way. <laughs> Makes sense. For someone to take the bait. I'm celebrating marijuana, not Hitler or Columbine. Thank you. Maybe they should celebrate by buying a keyboard with a shift key. Ah. But anyway. Celebrating marijuana. So, like, this dude's shtick is that he's, like, a giant douchebag, and people like that for whatever reason. I don't know. I mean, he has a lot of subscribers, so. I guess I should be thankful, because most people think I'm a gigantic douchebag, too. <laughs> True. Celebrating drugs. What a fucking loser. Celebrating This is what 420 drugs. is all about. So he's like first wait, 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 you're ce celebrating drugs is bad. It's like, okay, what about all the drugs that help people? Like, why not celebrate them? And if marijuana helps people, what do you have against that? Like, you're a loser because you smoke weed. It's like, he's going to play both sides of the argument here in a second. So hold on. Off by saying that I'm all for the legalization of marijuana. Okay. I think weed definitely should be legal. I'd love for it to be sold by the government or corporations and taxed. It would create new jobs, bring in more tax dollars for things like health care, education, police, whatever the fuck they want to use it on, and save us even more tax dollars that we currently piss away on court costs and imprisonment costs for people who are caught with a bag of weed. You can bet they'd protect their investment and still bust personal grow ops. No way if it's ever legal, you'll be able to grow your own. They're going to want... Can you what? grow your own in Colorado? Yeah. You can't, yeah, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about because he just said something that's really stupid. Yeah, in Colorado, and, you can grow you can grow marijuana, and so I live in Washington, you can, and, and California. In states, in states where medical is legal, the, yeah. in some of them, you can grow your own there, too. Yeah, I know in California, you can grow weed as well. So. But, um... This guy... So, but, 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 like, I mean, if someone like grow op, sure, that's still legal. A but, grow op, yeah. But, I mean, the average person in the state with a medical marijuana card can grow weed. Yeah, they have a certain amount of plants that they yeah. can. You're wrong! I want you to buy it. Just like how you're not legally allowed to manufacture and sell your own cigarettes, which are completely legal to buy now. But anyway, I'm all for legalizing weed. Okay. Right. However, 
However, I still think people who would celebrate the fact that they are drug users are pieces of shit. Okay. Why? That's stupid. For the same reason I would think an alcoholic celebrating their love of beer or whiskey or whatever they drink is what's a piece of shit. What's wrong with that? I don't, what's wrong with any of this? Yeah, you're stupid for celebrating drugs. You're stupid for liking things I don't. Oh. Not only are you stupid, but you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. I have oh, friends so you like to drink, huh? You're a piece of shit, buddy. You're a fucking piece of shit. Huh? Yeah. Smoke? And I think if someone's at a party, marijuana? they want to get high, like whatever. It? Great. Yeah. Enjoy. But if you smoke every day, you shouldn't be proud of that. You yeah. should feel bad about the yeah, fact that you have a dependency on something. That you're a fucking addict. What's wrong with having a dependency Buckley, you on can't. something? It's not like... I mean, you know, first of all... I mean, yeah, it already has the weed is not addictive thing up there. I mean, I, I think it is addictive to some people, but... Oh, sure. Sure. I sure. mean, uh, the thing about that is, though, like, just because you have a dependency on something doesn't automatically make it bad. I, mean, like, I would say it's psychologically... Ban all caffeine. It can be psychologically look, yeah, addictive. Like, look at all these addicts lining up at Starbucks every day. There's no what physical... Is wrong, you know, what is wrong I with these people? I guarantee you that there's, part of, that there's parts of this Buckley fucks daily routine that he fucking is addicted to on some psychological level, like... You know, I always do this, or I always do that. Sure. It's a, I mean, every fucking human being has that. Yeah, I mean, people have these patterns in, in their brains, you know, which they do this, they, they kind of repeat the same activities, I mean, on a subconscious level. Like, you know, I go here, I could do this, you know, whatever. If you're not part of weed culture or whatever, I mean, that's fine. No one fucking is going to, there's not like, it's not like the fucking cartoons where you're like, come on, dude, smoke the weed. It's like, I don't want to. No, you you're not do. cool, man. I'm a kill you're not you with us if you don't smoke, I'm going to blow you away if you don't smoke that joint. I remember when Hannity had that stoned America panel. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, one of the women there was like, I'm not so much afraid of marijuana as I am the marijuana culture. It's like, what? <laughs> it's scary. I'm scared. It's going to come hurt my children. Be addicted to weed? Of course you can. You can be addicted to fucking cereal. I know. Addiction that's what is we're defined saying. as the compulsive need for and use of a habit forming substance. Is there a problem with people who eat cereal every day? Ben, if you eat cereal, you're a piece of <laughs> shit. It's characterized if by you tolerance. Wait, well, if you celebrate it, like if you go around wearing like a Lucky Charm shirt or something, you're a piece of shit, Ben. And by well defined physiological Promoting childhood withdrawal. obesity, Ben. Marijuana does not create mm -hmm. a chemical dependency. And I wouldn't classify everyone who smokes weed as an addict. Just as I wouldn't oh, classify someone who goes out drinking once every couple of weeks as an alcoholic, nor would I classify someone who goes to a casino a couple times a year as someone with an addiction to gambling. What about a couple times a oh, month? Yeah. Like, where do you draw the line and who the fuck are you to... to... He's, he is the arbiter of all things. Bow before Buckley. I will decide who is addicted and who is not. I will decide who is a piece of shit and who is not. I, I am mean, Buckley. Sure. I, I mean, am Buckley. Bow before me. No. But there are people who are addicted to those things. Okay. If you smoke All every right. day, that's a habit you formed. Likely, okay. Okay. it takes more for you to get high as you do it more often. Hence, uh, you've built up a tolerance. Gotcha. And anyone that okay. smokes every day that is forced for one reason or another to stop for a few days... They're fucking lying if they tell you that they aren't having some sort of withdrawal symptoms. Okay, hold on. Let me just stop it for something here. I actually uh, have not been... Uh, until tonight, I hadn't smoked in, like, five days. And I was not having withdrawal symptoms like, Oh, my God, I need my weed. If I don't have it soon, I'll just fucking yeah, psychologically implode. She just had just shaking all day. Oh, just trying to get, some, just no. trying to get, trying to get a cup of coffee. Just, 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 just trying to get a cup of coffee, guys. Just, get, a cup, get a cup of coffee, yeah, guys. Think straight on. I can think about is the weed. The weed. The THC in weed is a mind-altering drug that generally causes people to be in a good mood. And when they stop, often people feel edgy, depressed, They'll have headaches and trouble sleeping, especially if they used to smoke before bed. I've met a fair number of people who smoke to get okay, through the day. I'm sure some people fucking have that, but not everyone who smokes has that. And, uh, whatever. <laughs> or to stop themselves from being depressed. They need it. You're addicted to the feeling. Sex addicts aren't sex addicts because women's vaginas are full of crystal meth or a guy's cock is made of crack. They become addicted to the feeling. Are you sure? What? I don't know. Someone just needs to beat this. What a weird analogy. You know what I mean? That, that, that's, 
it's, it's, it's like he just gives these very broad answers. He like, could have said, like, you know, sex releases pleasure chemicals in your brain yeah, like doing drugs that, does. That would, that, would be a, that would make a little bit more sense. A vagina like, made out of meth? What? A vagina is not made of meth. I don't think you could even, like, could you get, if you fucked meth, would you that, get high on that? That would probably be really bad for you. You'd probably end up losing, like, your penis <laughs> and other parts of your anatomy. No, but what if your penis was made of crack, though? Well... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Oh, well. And they feel a need for it. But Buckley, it's all natural. It's good for you. Drinking isn't good for you. Doctors have well, said I'll that a glass of wine too. a day actually is good for you. Oh, Helps my God. Circulate. Smoking gun. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, we don't. Health is a very complicated subject, is it not? I mean, there's some things that are clearly healthy and some things that clearly aren't, but there's a lot of stuff that's kind of a gray area. I mean, obviously, it's not healthy to fucking go and binge drink, but I mean, maybe a little alcohol could be a good thing. You know, we don't and we don't really know. I mean, I'm like looking at the study. We don't know what, what in particular is it. Is it the alcohol that is making people? You have a better quality of life. Or is the that, antioxidants, bro. Yeah, it's saying it improves art, arterial elasticity. So, I mean... It's normally red wine. So it's not just any type of wine. Right. A bottle of wine a day, however, is bad for you. Similarly, studies have shown that marijuana is a better pain reliever with less chance for dependency than, say, perks. But studies have also shown that any smoke inhalation is bad for your you don't have to smoke weed. Right. There's other ways to ingest it. I mean, I do smoke, but... Right. I smoke cigarettes, so who cares? You know? And Percocets can kill your liver... Fucked, anyway. ...and your kidneys. ...lungs over a long period of time. It's unlikely to give you cancer like... And by the way, just on a personal note, I took Percocets for a whole year, and withdrawal symptoms from those... Those are real withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> I've gone a whole year without smoking weed in the past before and didn't really feel a thing. Yeah, it's not the same thing. I just love when these people who obviously have never even done any fucking, uh, you know, they've never even really smoked weed or something, but they're going to talk about it like they're fucking experts or some shit. Like, I know what's really going on because I read some articles that already bolstered the position I had before I read them. So I'm smart. Like cigarettes do, but it still isn't good for your lungs. Weed isn't good it for is you. Smoke. It's not boosting your immune system or improving your cardiovascular system or helping you lose weight. Actually, in fact, with all the sitting the, around, wait, hold not on. Actually, the losing weight thing is not true. Because yes, it, there it are actually, strains. It actually does help you lose weight. Like, well, it'll actually lower your blood sugar and shit, or you know. I mean, weed. Less, weed uh, does have other practical applications. You can actually process too. carbs better and shit. Like, on it. like people who have. Uh, terminal illnesses, you know, they have no appetite, you know, children with epilepsy, which I mean, they they don't take, obviously the children with epilepsy don't take this, the, the weed with tea, I mean, or smoke or ingest weed, they take a, a, a synthetic form, I believe, without the THC in right. it. Right, and I, I mean, obviously, uh, he talks about, like, some people smoke weed because they're depressed, like, what's wrong with that? Depression is a disease, if weed helps with the symptoms, why not do that? There's plenty of fucking diseases and, and things that it helps with. Yeah, I mean, sure, but your casual smoker, like, I just smoke weed because right. I want to do a recreational drug. Yeah, sure, but... But, I mean, what's wrong with that? I mean, if, it, if you have fun doing something and it's not you're at any tremendous detriment to your person, you're what addicted. is the problem? You're addicted. You're just he, a he, he just finds people who are addicted to any sort of drug. I guess even caffeine and just any drug are just bad. Well, why isn't he sitting there talking about Starbucks and a McDonald's and all those people that peddle the caffeine to people? You you just really love salt. You just want that salty food. There's something wrong with you. You're a piece of shit. You like salt? That's Being bad for you, buddy. You're addicted. That most owners do. What about it's carbs? Like doing the exact opposite of those last two things. Right. But anyway, it's not good for you. It's just not as bad for you as other drugs or alcohol or cigarettes. Uh -huh. And as okay. for all natural, oh yeah, all that hydroponic shit you're smoking's totally natural. It's natural for plants to grow under lamps in a guy's basement and be fed extra things that boost the THC levels. Oh, when they say it's natural, it's not... They don't mean... They do that shit to the vegetables you buy at the supermarket, yeah. too, you fucking moron. Yeah, you stop eating shit you buy at the store. Well, you know? not the THC part, but, I mean, it's Basically, altered. Yeah, it's it's not a synthetic chemical compound made by a pharmaceutical company. Right. That's basically what they mean. Yeah. That should be obvious to anyone with a fucking brain, but, of course, that doesn't include Mr. Buckley here, so... Come on. 
Yeah, well, I can quit anytime I want. Hmm. Who says that? Oh, yeah. Every fucking addict ever. Why would you want to quit, though? Just because you can quit, why would you quit something if you're having a good time? Like, the, the, you know, you, you can quit, but you don't. It's like, I could quit getting blowjobs any time I wanted to. It's true, but why would you want that for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe you got a bad blowjob. You didn't think about it, did you, TJ? You're addicted to blowjobs. Buckley jobs. got a bad blowjob, and now he doesn't want him anymore. I refuse to believe that anyone to... would blow this guy. He paid them. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I guess that makes <laughs> sense. Face it, if you get high often, I would say more than three or four times a week, you have an addiction. Okay. I would oh, definitely no! say that a person who gets drunk more than three or four times a In week my is capacity an as an expert. I think most intelligent people would agree with that. Most people would also agree that someone who would get drunk alone, or who wakes up and has a drink is kind of pathetic, and likely has a problem. But here are some questions pathetic to is not habitual subjective. marijuana users, if you can really be honest with yourselves for a minute. Okay. Do you okay. often smoke by yourself just while sitting around watching TV? Sure. sure. Do you ever wake and bake? Sure. Wake up and smoke before starting your day. Yeah. If so, how is that less pathetic? I don't think it's because pathetic it's to alcohol. drink alone either. Pathetic is sub well, one is a subjective, really, from in the context, and two, who cares if someone wants to do a drug? It's 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 you know, if someone wants to smoke weed, that's their decision. It's their body. What do you care? And I mean, you you even said alcohol is as I mean, it, I mean, comparing alcohol and weed, weed is not as detrimental. I mean, so I've been able to smoke weed and do all kinds of important tasks, and so have other people like Carl Sagan, and I mean. So many musicians that you play the music you you probably enjoy were probably fucking high out of their minds. Actually, I, I think it's time to play the fucking uh, Bill Hicks clip at this point, where he's like, "If you're against drugs, you're against people who do drugs. Take all your records, all your tapes, all your albums, all that music that's helped enhance your lives throughout the years. Take all that and burn them, because all those musicians that made that stuff." Real Which is more pathetic though? Drugs. Which is more pathetic, drinking alone once a week or drinking every day with a crowd of people? I mean, oh yeah, if all your buddies go out and drinking, is it no longer pathetic? I, under this definition, all it's weed. Fuck off. That's not an answer. They're the same. They're no, both they're mood-altering substances. So? So, so exercise can be mood-altering. Yeah, there's plenty of rush of endorphins. There's any uh, there's any number of things you can do to alter your fucking mood. What do you drug. think? What do you think it's affecting? It's affecting your brain. Your brain is already fucking naturally inclined to change mental states and shit. You know, there's di there's different fucking activities you can do to get different reactions going. Meditation will alter your mood. Masturbation will alter your mood. Eating something will alter your mood. There's plenty of things you can do that are going to change your fucking the w your brain chemistry enough to alter your fucking mood. Just because something alters your mood doesn't mean it's like oh well, this is automatically bad. Because this is mood altering. Passionate about a drug, observing a holiday where you do drugs, I think that's pretty fucking pathetic. As pathetic as if any other substance abusers created a holiday for themselves to try and justify what they do as a popular activity that there's nothing wrong with. Okay. Conversely, well, they I think can do it if they want. Patch... What the fuck businesses of yours? Yeah, fuck you, Buckley. <clears throat> if heroin users want to be like, yeah, 110 is heroin day, I don't give a shit. Let them fucking have it. What's going to happen? The world going to end? What are these people really fucking hurting? The only thing that really hurts any of these fucking drug users aside, I mean, they hurt themselves sometimes if they're fucking addicted to some serious shit. Or maybe they'll steal some stuff because our society has fucking created these black markets and they have to fucking steal car stereos and shit just to feed their goddamn monkey on their back. But I mean... Yeah, okay, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no, I was done. Okay. It, it was, that was a fine closing point. Okay. Whatever. An excuse to get blackout shit-faced are pretty pathetic, too. Especially when it's the same people who get blackout shit-faced every weekend anyway. And likely the average person who's excited about 420 is someone who doesn't need another excuse to get high. They were going to do it that day anyway. Yeah. You want to smoke that's once true. in a while at a party or with a few friends over? Whatever. I think that's fine. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Definitely nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. And I think Good. you should be able to go... I, I'm comfortable. Now that I know there are contexts where I can smoke that Mr. Buckley you approves know, every of... every once in a while, you want to have a little bit of fun. I'm not against that. You do it every day. You're a fucking addict, buddy. And you got some serious problems. And you really shouldn't be celebrating your addictions. Piece of shit. It's Piece like, you know, like, I find, that, I find that funny because so many holidays, what are people going to do? New Year's Eve, they're going to get drunk. You know, Labor Day or whatever, they're going to get drunk. 
St. Patrick's Day. Oh, let's go out and get wasted. But that's okay because he does those kind of things. But if some guy was supposed to sit around his fucking basement smoking a fucking doobie, you're, you're a pathetic addict. You just need to go, go get some help or something, buddy. Less likely to drive if he stays home. Yeah. Already safer, already better. You know, it's like so Buckley sucks. H- h- how many deaths are there for marijuana each year? Like a few. And you said this is popular. Yeah, this guy is popular. Wow. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Buy it at the store, just like you can go buy a That's bottle sad. of vodka. Anything in moderation is fine. But don't get high every day and then lie to yourself. Haven't you ever heard the saying, any everything better than in the moderation, behavior of anyone addicted moderation. to any other substance? It's not. You're an addict. Happy 420, though. Have fun celebrating your weakness by getting high. Oh, okay, Again. I will, piece of shit. Go die of AIDS. I want to punch a dose of Buckley in the balls. It says uh, angry humor from an angry... When was the humor in that? Yeah, you're, you're was, not funny. There, when was you listen a, to the whole thing. But when was even a joke or an attempt yeah, it's at like, a joke? Ex- exactly. It's like there was no humor. You didn't have any jokes in there, dude. Like, where is the humor? I mean, I'm, I know humor is subjective, but... He has almost 500,000 subscribers on the dose of Buckley. 500,000 fucking retards. <laughs> Each and every last one of them. Do me a favor. If you're subscribed to me and a dose of Buckley, you got to choose. Fucking make your decision. Unsubscribe to one of us because, man, I don't want his fans watching me. So give, give one of us up. I don't care which. It's your decision. So uh, 